It's time to get some answers, guys. We we're in the depths. We've met the the sea dragon, and we've finally been contacted for a second time by what I think is the last surviving alien. So I guess it's time for some theories. My guess is because we've got two talking presences, right? We've got the kind of evil thing that sounds like it's hunting people, which might be like this alpha warper or whatever it's called. I know, it, I think that might have been the, the body that we found, but it also might be um, the thing that's hunting us because it sounds this thing. Obviously we found that here, but okay, so this was purple, right? Whereas the other warp, yeah, right. So these are the enforcers. So I don't know, maybe that maniacal voice we heard is some sort of hunting warper, special warper. Or it could just be another alien. There might be two aliens that are still alive. Um, one, I feel like one is down here in the power station, maybe on life support. Maybe it's maybe they found a cure or, or something. Maybe maybe they have to stay down here. Maybe they're trapped. Um, and then maybe there's another alien just on like hell bent on a mission to to stop anything or anyone from leaving this planet. Maybe it is another alien. I don't know. Okay, so wow, inventory's full. Yeah, we're packed up with all kinds of stuff here. Let's let the game catch up. So, uh, my plan, really, um, I've turned the engine off, right? Yep. So, it's to get in to board Queenie and just head down in the prawn. When we load in, it doesn't always appear in the right place. Okay, so we need to head this way. We need to test out whether we can walk on this. Absolutely not. So we can, but it's going to damage us. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Eyes peeled for the dragon. Hopefully you won't notice. Let me unplug my mouse. And the charging cable every episode. I forget. I wish we could turn the headlights off on this thing. got an alien, we've got like a couple of alien, are the alien stuff? Yeah. Maybe the entrances, maybe... But we're gonna have to find a way in. And I, I really don't want to bring the Cyclops any closer. So let's have a little scout of the perimeter. Obviously, we're probably going to get attacked by these things, but we can handle them. And we now at least know that we can walk on the lava for a little bit of time. It's not like instant death like you would suspect. Buddy, don't come at me. Oh dear. Oh! I just gave you a warning shot, mate. Right, a free meal for the... for the sea dragon.
I'm going to keep us topped up with the repair tool. Because I don't want us to, you know, that, for that to be the difference. He's close. He's really close. Let's hope he doesn't attack the Duke. But it's a possibility, right? Oh, right. Here's the alien facility. What are these things, then? So maybe we don't need to bother going close to them. Maybe We could maybe do with getting a scan of them. If we took ourselves in a corner, we might be a little bit safer. Got some iced coffee. Hopefully I can stay calm. Man, I, uh, I transitioned to iced coffee like last year at some point and I can't go back. It's like less acidic so it's better for your stomach I think. Right. Don't know where he is. Just <laughs> Which isn't a good spot to be in. Right, there's the facility. A sonic deterrent. Deter deterrent? Deterrent? <laughs> Chill out, dude. Oh my god, he saw us. A warning shot. I think we might have to move. Don't you go for the Duke. So I think there must be two. This one's patrolling here, the other one patrols up a bit higher. The entrance, it seemed like, was over there, so we're going to have to make a, a running jump across the lava river. Is he coming for us? I still feel like... Oh, God! We're toast, man. gonna eat us. The Duke. Come on dude, stay in the open. Okay, we've just been through some type of barrier. <laughs> Oh, there's gravity and oxygen in here. What's the prawn doing? Oh, he sits down when he's on land. I didn't know that. That's awesome. So you can get in, obviously, yeah, because it would be too high. Okay, now that we're reasonably safe, let's quickly read this. Oh, God, getting some lag here. Fair enough. A sonic deterrent. These small alien structures are emitting high wavelength sound waves which seem to be designed to deter indigenous life forms from approaching the larger facility. Okay, so we could have parked the cyclops. Could we have fit the cyclops in here, do you reckon? 
it's risky, but it's risky leaving it out there, man. Like, we saw what happened with the Seamoth when we left it around those Reapers for too long. Eventually, it crossed paths. It feels like the, the, this is this is partially... A blue one? Seriously? Where are we going to find that? <laughs> is there really like an alien facility I've not found yet? Or maybe we need to go on top of those sound deterrents. I'm going to operate under the presumption that... The Duke is safe for now. But we're going to have to wander around here. I seem to get away from him reasonably <laughs> safely a moment ago. Is there a way in here, or are these purely just a block? Maybe there's another way in. You gotta compliment the sound design, right? It's pretty epic. Well, it's not pretty epic, it's just epic. Just about leaving the Duke over there. I've not got a knife. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, Quinny. I was trying. I was just about to grab a fish. Okay, no, no, not with you around. I've got to remember about the propulsion cannon with these things. Maybe we'll find one up here. Feels really unlikely. But there's something up here, so. Is he? Dude, I've just had enough. Is he still hanging out? Sounds like it. Well, at least it's distracting him from the Duke. There's a warper hanging out. Come on, man. Are you serious? So I don't want to keep killing these things, but they're coming after me.
Shizer. Attack the warpers, man. It's coming right for us. Take the cheap way out. Man, these sound deterrent things don't work at all. <laughs> Alright, this is um upsetting. Let's just double check I haven't got a blueprints for a blue tablet. No. Maybe there are other alien facilities that I just haven't found on, on the surface where we would have got the Ingredients for such a thing. I'll look after you, Queenie. The Duke's staying safe over there. So we need to explore this side of the roof, but I really don't think we're going to find anything. Yeah, someone's sure what to do, man. Because if there's something on the surface, then go all the way back. I mean, where were the other alien facility hints? Dude, you can't come in here. I think we're safe. I'm getting a good view of his arse though. Right, um, there was the, I just want to find the thing that said where the facilities were. Come on, tell me where. Codes and clues? There we go. Honestly. Primary containment facility. So we found the disease research facility, yes. And this is the thermal power facility. Dude, leave me alone. Oh, he's stalking us. So maybe we have to find all of these other facilities. Primary containment facility. This is a nightmare. I guess I've not explored the planet thoroughly enough.
and this is my punishment. Because this is 100% the only way in. Oh, thank you. Great. There's a light up there, maybe. the light. Not sure what I'm gonna do, so I need to have a think. So, um, what I think I'm gonna do. So basically, I've come here too soon. There's somewhere I haven't found because we would have. We need to find this blue tablet somewhere. So because there's um, a sea dragon here, I'm guessing that that means you know he's kind of guarding this place. So I'm gonna before I make any rash decisions about going back to the surface, I'm gonna maybe make the presumption that this that the other sea dragon is guarding somewhere else or patrolling somewhere else right because these are dangerous enemies they'd only put them in front of something important i'm guessing because there's less than five or less than ten of them single digits right so we're going to go back to the cyclops and we're going to go back up through the waterfall system and try and find something up there um and hope that there's something else there otherwise i'm going to have to go back to the surface where is he he's He's right near where I need to go, so we're going to have to run the gauntlet here. I don't want to waste any supplies um, in terms of water. Where the hell did he go? Is this a draw distance thing? Uh, where are you, friend? Right, genuinely have no idea where he is, which is terrifying. We are completely exposed. At least I've not had to waste any resources in terms of food and stuff because we can get some marble melons now the duke looking mighty hot right now <laughs> right so we're gonna have to back up out of here we ended up parking in a pretty perfect spot right Thank you. All systems online. Okay. Uh, I'm not giving up hope.
A lot of marble melons, man. Right, we are full. Okay. Power should be 100%, regardless of larvae that are attached to us. So, we're going to have to somehow reverse out of here back into this main cavern. Okay, okay. Stay positive. Powering up. I think we should be alright to do silent running, if I'm being honest. I hit slow. I hit slow. I was driving yesterday or the day before and I kept saying that. I hit slow. Rig for silent running. Right. Because we're, we're, we're like using a lot of, uh, we're absorbing a lot of power from the, from the lava, so. Obviously we need to use the cameras to reverse. Now this, if we stick our little tail into the lava, obviously we're going to take damage. Yeah, whatever, Whopper. Alright. Let's start our ascent. I wonder if we could build a little aquarium in here. Right, we're re-entering enemy territory here. No, 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 get off me! Uh, what's our power doing? Yeah, we're silent, uh, uh, ahead slow. <laughs> I think we're golden. Right, now we need to look out for the big mamba. So the question is, where do we try and go? Because I haven't spotted anything alien structure like around here, have I? It's just these skeletons. So maybe we we find a little nook to park in. Shush. And we go out in Queenie. I think so. I'm going to part this as low as I can. Right. Engine powering down. Now, this is a dangerous place to leave it. I'll admit that. Oh, because we're in silent running mode. Detect an alien materials and a massive energy signature. Oh. Reading originates within the natural structure at the center of this chamber. What chamber? Hey! <laughs> Say that again. The center Detect of this chamber. Materials and a massive energy signature. Reading originates within the natural structure at the center of this chamber. Right, okay. Right, let's take some more stuff. Um, let's just recycle uh, the, the batteries a, a little bit. Oh 
no. All hands on deck. Oh, sweet Moses. We are in a flanked position. I think we should maybe consider parking down in the water. I don't know, man. We cannot lose the Cyclops under any circumstances. But he just flew right, swam right flew. I keep saying flew. He swam right past us and didn't notice. So maybe, maybe we're okay here. It's really risky leaving this here. We need a better place to park. Maybe in between these stacks, maybe he won't get us there. I don't know what to do. We need to find somewhere to leave it first. We can't wander around in the Cyclops because we just can't get away in the Cyclops. I know it's got like a, we've got like a, a maximum speed we can do that's a, that would be a lot faster, but we're just, we'll be so big. Maybe he doesn't notice if it's down here like nice and still. Oh god, this is curtains. Okay, didn't notice us. Even though he's really close. I don't know if it's an eyesight thing or a sound thing. Or if there's some, you know, nonsense, like some sort of AI in the background or some sort of thing that will just make him gravitate towards us regardless of what we do. Gotta risk it. Serious? What the hell was that? I think we've got to work under the presumption that the Cyclops will be okay if he just swam that close to us with the engines off in silent mode while we're not moving. Nothing happened. I think we've just got to we've got to find something. We've got to find something. A way in. Uh... Yeah, yeah. We got to do it. We got to go. The question is, is whether we draw his attention here by using Queenie. Chamber. What chamber? Uh, let's just get away from the Duke. Right, can we see any alien structures? Ah, oh, sugar. So we're obstructed by these stacks. This feels a little fruitless, but... I think if we get away from the Cyclops, I think that's the best thing to do. Man, I wish I could have the Seamoth down here. It's just so much, it's just so much easier to explore places in, right? The headlights are good. The sonar. Oh, there's a warper down there. Man, why can't this thing have proper headlights or sonar? 
can't see anything that looks remotely like an entrance, though. Stay strong, Duke. Entrances, man. Give me something. Oh! Hey, back off. Mind your business, Warper. I'm out of here, dude. Because we did find that one cave entrance before. Well, I don't think it led anywhere. It wasn't in this central bit, was it? That said, there's just nothing that looks remotely like an alien structure here. But this is quite like a, an iconic looking or distinct looking geographical... Oh god, he disappeared! <laughs> yeah, we're, we're rumbled. Yeah, we can use the towers. Leave me alone! <gasps> what? Hey, ah! Ah! I got a beacon. No. Fuck. Well, I found something. I just got jump scared to death. Man, that, that was so frustrating, guys. I, I've edited out. I've probably edited out all, a lot of wandering there. But this is an alien structure. How do I find my way back here in the prawn suit? Any landmarks? Some kyanite, I guess. 1100 meters down. We're only 1100 meters deep here. Fair enough. Oh, have I got the pathfinder thing? Ha ha! This finally came in useful. Oh no! Use the med kit. What the hell? Oh, now I've lost all the things. Can you believe that? 
Moses, what is going on? Alright, let's follow the Pathfinders. Wow, guys, that was... a long trek to find something that obscure. I imagine you could have found it quite easily with sonar. But I wouldn't have been exploring in the Cyclops anyway. It would have been too dangerous. Get going, dude! Right, we're in. Somewhere, I don't know what. Okay. Um which has formed in this area can be carbon dated to between 800 and 3,000 Earth years ago. Creature eggs? Well, I can you imagine if this is a... Uh... Oh. Imagine if this is a sea dragon. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thanks, Queenie. There's a lot of eggs though, so that seems very unlikely. It's probably those things that keep trying to bite me. Can't see any more alien structures. There's a lot of these damn eggs though. Aha! Dude, you threw that, and now you just hit yourself with it. Wait, this looks like the place we've already found. No, but that was that was that was like in the ground. Right? <gasps> I'm so sick of these things, man. You die. So sick of them, man. We gotta find a way in. Up we go. Right, what have I brought with me? Purple, two purples, an orange, and some cubes. Hopefully, I don't need another orange. I heard a little noise then. Ah, I was looking. Uh, what is that noise? All right, let's give Queenie a quick uh, repair here. I don't like these noises at all.
Oh, it's a Stargate. We can drill the ion cubes. <laughs> I'll get that on the way out in case we need to pick other stuff up. Right, so we need a purple tablet to get in here. I will, I will get a bunch of them, but I just want to... So we obviously need that to turn this on. Wow, so where's this going to lead? Is this going to lead back to one of the islands, maybe? So we've got a lot of ion cubes we can harvest there. Right, let's uh, insert a purple here. We've got two of them. Force field control. Oh, it's just for that. Oh, is that a blue one? Nice. Acquired. Smooth and cold with a blue light which illuminates an, an alien symbol resembling an uppercase H. While it's likely these devices served as parts in part as security clearance for whoever constructed them, their size suggests some additional purpose, such as personal computers. Whatever the case, the technology is far behind humanity's own. Three thousand, eight over eight hundred years ago. So we can craft a blue one. We just need kyanite, which uh, I fortunately pinched a bunch of, didn't I? Right, so we've got a gateway we can activate. How much space have we got? Let's take two or three. We might only get like three or four out of it. It might be like drilling for kyanite. Oh, it's got into the vehicle storage. Forgot about that. We can just take all of them then. Perfect. Should we activate this now? I feel like we should explore the rest of the facility first. Right? I can hear like electronic things moving. I don't think the prawn can. F oh, it can fit. It can fit. Good job, Queenie. Been on that diet. Uh oh. The hell? We, uh, we can't walk here. Doesn't want us to use the prawn here then. So you, uh, take care, Queenie. Okay, this looks a little ominous. Sure. Okay, another purple one here. Fossil data. Integrating new PDA data. Fossil data recorded from the volcanic rock that was excavated to construct the, the alien power facility. It's been possible to extrapolate a number of key trends. Genetic divergence. The aliens recorded data on indigenous organic remains originating between 10,000 and 1,000 years ago. The life forms on record feature an unusually low overlap with those encountered so far on the planet. An extinction event. Soil samples from 1,000 years ago contain 300% higher concentrations of organic remains than the soil average. Data supports a mass extinction event killing off a majority of species and forcing rapid adaptation amongst many of the survivors. Okay, an extinction level event. Maybe there used to be more land formations here. Oh, we've got another purple one. This place looks a little weird, though. 
Oh, it's the power. Ge these are just power generators, then, surely. It's making the noises, though. I'm scared, man. An alien thermal plant. This system is directly converting local thermal energy into electric current at 90% efficiency. Most of this energy is being stored in the battery like devices within the plant itself, each of which holds enough power a small each holds enough to power a small city for a year. Some of it, however, is being drained off, presumably as it's distributed to other facilities on the planet. The power plant appears to be fully automated and, given current understanding of the mechanisms involved, uninterruptible. Okay. Is it safe to walk in here? Integrating new PDA data. A primary alien facility location updated. Volcanic area connected to this cave system at depth 1.4 kilometers. Right. Primary containment facility. A power router in the thermal plant is distribu distributing energy collected on site to other facilities on the planet. A primary containment facility location updated. Constructed within a natural chasm connected to this cave network. South southeast. Area of volcanic activity, depth 1.4 kilometers. Power distribution, self-warping quarantine enforcement unit, units 5%, arch network 10%, sanctuaries, alpha, beta, kappa 10%, quarantine enforcement platform 35%, disease, re research, disease research facility is offline obviously, primary containment facility 20% and 20% in reserve, there's no clear way to interrupt the power flow. So. That must be the place we found first. We just found it in the wrong order, because... Um, yeah, we just found it in the wrong order. Now, yeah, there's, some, there's an orange thing up here. more data integrating new PDA data Syn synthesizing ion power blueprints from alien data blueprints stored to ion data. power It's been possible to extract useful information regarding alien ion power. Ion cubes are grown artificially from a mineral substance and are treated to remain in a stable state despite the huge ionic energy contained within. By installing an ion cube on an appropriate device, this energy can be released as electrical power. Using this knowledge, it has been possible to synthesize new battery and power cell blueprints which leverage advanced ionic energy to last considerably longer. Right. And a cube, gold and silver, two ion batteries and silicon. Okay, so I mean, what would we need such a... Oh, maybe for the space, if, we, if we're going to build the Neptune, maybe we'll need that kind of power source to get out. Well, I was lucky that I brought just enough purple tablets, unless we could find some around here somewhere. Welcome aboard, Captain. So we pick, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve ion cubes, and we're about to use one in this gate, for better or for worse. Okay, big find. Uh, I wonder if you can find their habitat facilities, because it said that there were, what, three? Oh, we've not been that way, have we? Is there is that a tablet itself? Can you believe I didn't take it? You idiot, man. I 
could I said I could have crafted one, no worries. Bet you guys were shouting about that as well. <laughs> Come here to me. Okay, that sounds ominous. Now, was this the way in? I just want to double check. Yeah, that's the way in. Oh, maybe there's just two doors because it was a bit red on the other side as well, right? I don't like that come here to me, though. Okay, it doesn't want us to do that. That's another way in, but it won't let the prawn suit do it, so... Where the prawn goes, I go. Right. I'm a bit nervous about activating this, but... Let's do it. Can we go through in the suit? <laughs> yeah, that's not what I was expecting. Oh, we're only at 92 meters depth. Oh, right. Where? Yeah, I know where we are. We're at the uh, at the turret thing. Yeah. Pretty positive that's where we are. I mean, I'd say that that's a convenient way back, but it's not easy to get in here with the sea creature hanging around, right? Oh, Queenie, it's good to see you. All right, guys, uh, I have no idea how long this episode is because I, I was wandering around for a solid 40 minutes, maybe maybe longer outside. Okay, so we've activated a gate, we've got the blue tablet, we've got more contact from the mysterious alien voice, the slightly nicer one. It's more of a female voice, isn't it? Um, so yeah, uh, I guess we'll head there next time, right? Um, we've got the blue tablet, we've got crafting ingredients to make more, so I might make two more to take in with me. I might make a, um, a few of each tablet in case we need some, because we've, we've not got any purple ones left. Have we? So I might just make maybe like one of each. Maybe two blues, two purples, one more orange. I've not got enough nickel though to make any more orange ones. We've got one orange one, that might be okay. Uh, I've got plenty of kyanite, I've got plenty of diamonds. So I'll make two of each of these and we'll just keep with the one orange and hope for the best. Oh, so uh, I found the place eventually. Uh, Without the sonar, it was it was tricky to find. Hopefully the Duke is alright. I mean, I think it would disappear off the hood if it was, you know, destroyed. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. Just remember everybody, never trust an uncrate. I'll uh, see you back at the power plant.